You're watching WRDE Coast TV. It's Monday. Here's a WRDE Today web news update. I'm Walt Marcus. The Rehoboth Beach Sunshine Rotary Club is looking to raise more than $17,000 for five elementary schools in the Cape Henlope School District. For the first time ever, they've teamed up with the Harlem Wizards to put on a benefit basketball game. The Harlem Wizards are world famous. They travel around the world and raise millions of dollars for organizations that hire them. The Rotary Club brought them to Cape Henlope High School last night to face off against local community leaders and teachers. The Harlem Wizard fundraiser is all about a community getting together and having a good time and raising money for educational programs that our club puts into our district. There are many programs that our club puts on. We're starting a new initiative with CAPE this year for the first T program. In Ellendale, police say a pedestrian had multiple injuries after being hit by a car. It happened Friday night. Police say the driver was traveling down Route 113 when the pedestrian stepped into his path. The driver honked, but the pedestrian didn't move. He was flown to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Police say the pedestrian has been cited for failure to carry a light and for being drunk on a highway. Delaware State Police are asking for your help in finding a wanted man. They say he's been selling and receiving stolen property. Police say on November 4th, 19-year-old Mark Brown of Delmar entered a detached garage in Laurel and took a Kodiak ATV. He's wanted on active warrants from Sussex County for failing to appear on felony theft charges and criminal trespass. He also has active warrants for failing to pay traffic fines. Police say he stands 5 foot 4 inches tall, weighs 165 pounds. If you see him or know where he is, contact Troop 4 or Crime Stoppers. The week of Thanksgiving brings lots of traffic through grocery stores as people seek out the best turkey and ingredients for side dishes that have been passed down to their families for generations. Local shops like Lloyd's Market in Lewis are fully stocked with fresh and frozen turkeys ready to provide for their customers until it's time to set the table. The store owner, Lenny Pollitt, is confident that after almost 50 years in business, Lloyd's won't be selling out. Monday and Tuesday we'll, we'll be uh, in like our full swing and um, a lot of people come in for their turkeys kind of early. Um, we we uh, probably order about 300 turkeys. Plan ahead for sure because uh, a lot of the fresh turkeys we got to pre-order and actually we pre-order those almost six months out. So uh, we're, we're pretty tight on that. There's always a few shoppers that come in here the very last minute trying to get a fresh turkey and so that's always something that's uh, we try to you know cater to. Lloyd's even cooks fresh turkeys for their customers on Thanksgiving. They expect to Took about 50 of them on Thursday. A Pocomoke City man was seriously injured Saturday afternoon at Del Mar Speedway. Police say the man was doing a time trial when he lost control of his vehicle and crashed into a guardrail. He was flown to Christiana Hospital in Newark. Our WRD Person of the Day is Angela Fleming of Milton. If you run into Angela, tell her have a great day from all of us at WRDE. That's your WRDE Today web news update. I'm Walt Barkas. Have a great day.